Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. If you are new to this platform, this is the channel where we look at the energetic connections, love and relationships around some of our favorite celebrities and influencers. And if you are returning to this channel, thank you so much for helping in its continued growth. This is one of my first kind of crossover readings. I'm gonna be looking at some TikTok personalities and looking deeper into a situation that is happening on the platform currently. I say it's crossover because TikTok is definitely my largest platform on the interwebs. Um, and I haven't done a TikTok person yet, I don't think. So in this reading, we are gonna be looking at the energy around TikTokers, modern warrior, Chelsea and Aunt Karen. I say it that way because I I know Modern Warrior, um, or I know of, I, I know of Aunt Karen. I'm not sure of Chelsea, um, and I'm not particularly sure of all the particulars in the situation. Any of my followers that really know me know that I don't actually spend a lot of time looking at videos. So this was sort of brought to my attention, and I thought it would be pretty cool to look at. So let's get into some good old-fashioned energetic nosiness and see what is really going on potentially. Um, just as a disclaimer, this is all my energetic speculation as an empath, um, none of which is based on true fact. So uh, let's get into it. This reading is for Modern Warrior, Chelsea and Aunt Karen, looking at the potential energies going on between them. one card jump out the two of pentacles so this is definitely a situation about juggling okay we have the three of wands with the high priestess the five of cups with the six of swords the seven of cups with the hierophant the Hanged One or the Hanged Man with the Six of Pentacles. The Fool. It's going to be a little bit of a big spread with the Knight of Pentacles. The Five of Wands with the Five of Swords. Okay, so initially... This energy is coming across as Chelsea's energy. This energy is coming across as MW's. And so I'm going to pull Aunt Karen's as well, but I may need to move it around so you can see it. For Aunt Karen, you have the Eight of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. Okay. The Two of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune the moon with the six of wands okay and then we have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so let me adjust really quickly so you can see a little more of everything there we go let's go okay this is already very interesting i'm already getting a lot from this so we have <clears throat> the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and Right underneath that would be the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this is definitely a case of unrequited love. And this is definitely giving love triangle energy. And I feel like it with MW in the middle, like, let's, uh, let's work our way out. Let's start from the inside and work our way out. 
So with the five of wands and the five of swords, it's like there's there's this like energetic strife or conflict going on. And I don't, so, <laughs> so I get the sense that the connections on either side romantically don't, don't really exist for MW. Like there's no cups energy here at all for him. We have the hanged one with the six of pentacles in reverse. And so what this is really saying is just like, right now I'm at a standstill because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to produce, make things, create. If you hear scratching in the background, it's a kitty cat. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to like create things in my life and like give to the people that I care about kind of energy with the six of pentacles and so I feel like stuck at the soul level this is a karmic thing too I just want to say so um a lot of people want to know like what is karma and it's really earth <laughs> you know we're, we're all on planet karma and so this is a karmic exchange because where this is connecting is like about the livelihood for MW. So we have the fool in the middle of his energy with the Knight of Pentacles. And it's like, this is saying like, I have, I feel like internally, I have worked really long and hard in my life to create this new beginning. And I feel like, and I feel like almost like I'm judging myself because I feel like my own sort of recklessness has potentially jeopardized all the, the like, it's been a really long time coming like this is all pentacles energy and so we have the five of wands and the five of swords like all these like conflicted thoughts where it's like was i reckless like really second guessing self and like going back and forth again with this two of pentacles that jumped out at the beginning of the reading and the five of pentacles being the overarching theme um of this entire situation and this is also telling you how karmic it is because we have all of these lower these lower cards but we also have soul lessons with all of the karmic things that happen to us in life and so for mw it's like reflecting internally at the soul level did my sort of perceived recklessness potentially jeopardize what I've worked so long and hard for. And so that's why we have the five of wands and the five of swords, because it's like five is the number of change. And so wondering like, are things going to completely change for me because of this conflict? And so there's a lot of like worry in the, in the energetic body and a lot of worry in the mind. And then when we go over here to Chelsea's energy, so, okay. This is very interesting because for Chelsea, I have the High Priestess and the Hierophant out. And what that tells me is like this, what we're seeing is a manifestation of an internal conflict between like head and heart or like an internal conflict between like the good angel and, and and the bad angel or or you know on on your shoulder or whatever the case may be is because it's like on the one side there's this good angel that is like giving very much I just want a positive future for myself like I just know that like, this is my path. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe this is like connected to like being in the forefront, being in social media. Like I know deep in my soul, like resonates deep within me that I'm supposed to be in this arena of people, right? But then there's like this other aspect, like there's this like flip side where it creates these like emotional triggers where her behavior or their behavior, because I don't know who Chelsea is really, like their behavior becomes very unpredictable because their emotions become unpredictable with the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. It's like the, the bad angel takes over and I just 
I, it's a mixed bag. Like you could get a tornado for me. You could get a snake. You could get love. You could get this. You could get that. But like what's in the middle of these behaviors of like well-meaning. When I say well-meaning, I mean like with this high priestess, like knowing it at the soul level that like they do want to move. Like also it's like because they want to move forward from this dramatic situation, but they feel attached to the situation. And that's what's coming out on the other side. And what's in the middle of that is really just heartache over this. So the Six of Swords can be interpreted as a new relationship card or a new love card. And so we have the Five of Cups in the middle with the Six of Swords. So it's like internally, I'm just really sad that this relationship didn't work out because there was a part of me that felt like me like getting to the next level energetically, whatever that, however that manifests in life, whether that's career wise or whether that's, you know, family, relationship, love, like they felt like this connection with MW was supposed to do that. And so because it didn't, that's why it's like I'm going back and forth between like knowing that I just need to move forward and like move on from the situation and like not being able to and feeling like really, really stuck. So when we take it back to the two of pentacles and the five of pentacles for the overarching energy, that's the back and forth for Chelsea. So here's where it starts to get super interesting. Over here we have Aunt Karen's energy. And the first thing that jumps out to me is the Eight of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups in reverse. This Knight of Cups in reverse is also saying there were some romantic feelings there. And with this partnership, the Eight of Pentacles, like working with this energy, maybe um, like working with MW created these like residual romantic feelings. And so we have that in reverse where underneath like the productivity of the connection, there was, there was feelings there. Like that's the way it comes across to me. However, comma, on the flip side, there is the moon in reverse and the six of wands. So the moon in reverse is talking about at the soul level insecurity. It's like, I don't want to jeopardize my working relationship because I don't necessarily feel confident that the way that I feel is going to be reciprocated with the six of wands in reverse, the victory card in reverse, feeling like I may not get the outcome that I want out of the situation. So in my soul, I always have this like going back and forth reluctance with um, what to do with this Knight of Cups energy and these emotions because at the end of the day, I'm prioritizing the Eight of Pentacles. I'm prioritizing the work, the working connection. And so the Two of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune that's coming in the middle. Okay, this is another thing that's saying like, there is change that's going to be coming out of this situation for everyone. We have 555, five, five, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there is going to be some change. And then the Five of Cups. So all the fives are out in the Wheel of Fortune. There's going to be like some some change as a result of the situation. And for AK, Aunt Karen, looking to the future and wondering like how this change is ultimately going to impact her as well. So this is interesting. So everyone is, everyone is going back and forth with how they want to either leave or move forward from the situation everyone is feeling like not positive like this five of pentacles energy is is like fear of loss fear of everyone's it's like it's like there's a lot of fear energy but everyone's scared for different reasons uh, you know you have chelsea who doesn't is a is has fear around um letting go of the fact that this connection didn't work out you have MW whose fear is around wondering if their behavior has jeopardized everything they work so hard for. And then you have AKs whose fear is around, um, you know, did, did my underlying emotions and some of my personal insecurities about that end up, you know, changing the working relationship that I have 
with this other person. So let's pull from the empath deck to sort of look a little bit deeper. We had three that floated out, Stardust, Root. Stardust is definitely for Chelsea. Root is definitely for MW. And then Open Heart is definitely for AK. Like, okay. Wow. Okay, so we got, we got another five with Stardust. And so that coming out over Chelsea's energy is just highlighting like how much I want to call it like rose colored glasses like was ignoring the shadows the very obvious shadows of the night and kind of only looking towards the stars and really needing to like ground that that's the that's that's the karmic back and forth within this individual's like tug of war over the situation you can't just pretend like the darkness isn't there and just look at the bright lights you have to look at the darkness or you're going to end up with the same fear of loss like what you it's like because these things were not addressed it's almost like you manifest what you're afraid of right and then so for um <clears throat> modern warrior seven of you know the seven of the root chakra so again worried about security, foundation, worried about what they built and potentially having created some um, reactions that may disrupt that. And then for uh, Karen, open heart, hoping that um, I feel very, I'm going to pull some cards over these, but I feel that this open heart is coming across a couple of different ways doesn't want their following to lose um, their heart for them and also doesn't want to lose this working relationship with MW, I feel. Okay. So we had the Emperor jump out and the Eight of Wands. So it's going to be more communication on this situation, maybe coming from Modern Warrior. Yep, move forward. Chelsea just needs to move forward emotionally. Um. Yeah, okay, so the Page of Cups coming out, this is about compassion, okay? I feel that what needs to be communicated from M from MW is compassion toward both sides. You need to communicate, like, no matter, no matter what the, you know the truth is, you need to communicate compassion towards both sides. That's what's going to diffuse the situation because... There weren't as many emotions about this. This is why the Page of Cups is coming in in the reverse. This was not an emotional experience for them as it was for the other parties. And so to communicate that compassion will help articulate that you do feel, like you do understand that people's feelings were hurt potentially in the situation. And for you to reclaim, you know, your autonomy and like, and like kind of like for you to reestablish who you are as an individual and your point of view with the situation and take more control of the narrative by communicating compassion towards both sides but like your honest truth about maybe not having as deep a connection as maybe other people had in the connection oh, okay so, so okay <laughs> so that we have the tower in reverse coming over the open heart energy for aunt karen this is saying a couple of things this is saying 
that because the behavior, whatever she said or did in the situation was coming from this, this moon in reverse energy was coming from a place of insecurities. And this insecurity was connected to some kind of romantic feeling in this connection. The tower in reverse is sort of like, um, imploding is not the right word. Uh, I don't, I don't mean imploding internally, but like really having to go like deep within to figure out where these deep, dark insecurities are coming from. Like as much as AK may, may want everyone else to have an open heart in the situation, I get the sense that they need to have an open heart. They need their, their heart is going to be like more open in the situation to their own vulnerabilities. Like, to their own dark spaces and insecurities. And then that is how, because that is what this cycle means for them. It actually has nothing to do with anyone else in the situation. And no one's does. Everyone's lessons are very individual. That's what makes it karmic, right? Everyone's lessons are very individual, but the way that the energy is exchanged is how the lessons are meant to play out. And that is karma. So for Aunt Karen, closing a karmic loop on some dark insecurities of the self and I'd be willing to bet it's just about finding um I, I feel like I want to say like self-appreciation like knowing that like you're not just appreciated for the work that you put in you're not just appreciated as um a partner on a 3D sense or a job sense that you do have deeper value and that deeper value is worth romantic love no matter who it comes from. And I think that is a perfect way to end this reading. If you enjoyed this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you like seeing more crossover on this platform and seeing me look at the energy behind TikTokers, um, thank you so much for watching this. If you're interested in getting your own reading from me, you can find information on how to do that in the description box. Please only get that information from my website as there are people out here who are preying on people and, you know, pretending to give services that they don't give. Um, please make sure you're always looking at my website for my services. You can connect with me on TikTok and Instagram at Official Chinez and I will see you next time.